Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a review of what we made in the first part. I hope that you made your homework and if you didn't watch the first part, here in the description box below I will share the link. This is the second part. I will make first a review and then I will give you all the next details. Well, I reduced and then at the end I ended with four mesh squares. You see? one, two, three, and four, the same number that I had in the other strap too. And with this white, we are going to continue until we arrive to the shoulders. You may see that the uh, neckline is too open and wide, but don't worry because right there we are going to make an elastic, so it will reduce. I will tell you more or less the centimeters that you are going to make so you can take that into account and don't worry approximately three centimeters all around the uh, neckline so it will reduce the space so don't worry I will show you how we are going to make it it will be in the front and part of the back too I want to open more the uh, space so you can tell better it will go all around and also here in the part of the armhole we are going to make this elastic and I will show you how, remember that this is the front so now for the back will be exactly the same with all the stitches with the same stitch and everything in this case we won't make just one series and a half of the second we are going to leave the same number for the armhole but instead of two and a half we are going to make three complete series and then we will reduce a bit to also open the neckline in the back too so we won't make this we will start reducing here in the third series after the armhole but don't worry I will show you how we are going to make it just let me think well look here finish the front remember that it looks a little bit wider but don't worry because we are going to close also the armhole it is wide because it's a summer uh, cloth and I like that it be uh, a little bit loose right so now in the back we made the same with reduced but it's less than what we made in the front I want to show you so this will this is how it will be this is the front, we are going to place it like this and we are going to have the same distance for the shoulders and also here in the armhole we will continue straight in both sizes here in the back as you could see after the armhole we complete three series and in the fourth series where we start reducing right in the half I start reducing, I follow the same technique that I teach you to reduce and to make the neckline that we made in front and now to make the elastic we are going to change and we will use the needles we are going to join only one shoulder and the next one we are going to leave it free because if we join both um, shoulders it will be difficult to cast on the stitches and use the needles so please before you join check that you have here the right side and in the back the wrong side so you can sew so first I will join this shoulder and I will leave the right shoulder free just a quick look I want to show you how I will sew I will go in order I will take one stitch from one side and one stitch from the other side taking both parts of the chain because if we only take the one part of the chain we will open and pull the stitch okay so it's very important that you take two parts of the chain and that you go in order and like this is how we are going to join just one shoulder remember the second one we are going to leave it free to cast on the stitches okay so we finished and now in the other side first we are going to start with a new row first all around in the neck we are going to make one row with a single crochet please be careful not skip too much spaces go in order make one single crochet in each stitch all around the neck and in the back 
to where the neckline is and we will finish right here at the beginning of the side of the other shoulder in the back well then with the needles we are going to make approximately three centimeters of elastic but don't worry let's finish this first well, I want to show you how I make the single crochet in the wrong side. I will start, I will insert the hook and right there in the corner where the shoulder starts, we will start making the single crochet. If you want, while you make this row, you can crochet over the threads that you want to hide. So we can make this at the same time, right? So, in order taking one stitch, we are going to make single crochet. So, well, we are going to continue like this, making this row all around, remember, in the neckline of the front, the neckline in the back, and also in the sides, inside uh, the shoulders. And once you finish, see you there to teach you how we are going to make the elastic and remember while you are here you can hide some threads okay well before I let you go uh, please be careful and count how many stitches do you have in one side of the neckline and in the other side you must have the same number to have this part symmetrical well look here I did get ahead for this sleeve I have 116 stitches and for the neck 124 I did get ahead and I have to cast on the same number of stitches of the first sleeve here the half of 116 is 58 so here in the half where is the armhole we are going to start counting and we will we must have 58 we have to cast on the stitches facing the project to the right side once we are there we are going to use our hook and remember that the uh, elastic we are going to make it with the needles okay if you want you can use your needle like this and in order take a stitch by stitch or you can use your hook take all your stitches like this then leave them in hold in your hook and then place them in order to in the needles like this so we are going to pass them through from the hook to the needles like this is how we are going to continue casting on all the stitches and we are going to use the same technique to cast on the stitches all around the neck but don't worry I will show you how it would look so far let's finish this part first well, here we finished to cast on the stitches and the, remember what we made in the elastic. We pour one, we knit one and in the coming rows we are going to respect. If in the last row we pour, we are going to pour again and if we knit, we are going to knit again. Like this, more rows. Well, so here we are, I made five rows, one, two, three, four and five and it, I finish facing to the right side okay the wrong side will look like this where well, we will have this split okay so this will be the wrong side and we finish in the right side once we are here we are going to bind off with the needles we are going to bind off a little bit loose okay please not tie too much because if not it will distort the shape so let's um, bind off like this well, and remember that like this is how we are going to make the neckline and also the other sleeve. For now, let's finish to bind off all the stitches. It is like if we are uh, going to uh, knit two together, but we take one back. This is how we bind off. So let's finish to make this and then I will show you how we are going to join to close the a sleeve to close the um, yes the shoulder well now we finished to bind off all the stitches okay and this is the result now that we finish here 
we won't cut this thread, we are going to leave it right there and we will use it to sew. So you are going to cut a long thread and then with your needle you are going to bring them through and make a knot right there. But guess what, here I lost one stitch. Okay, so be careful, I will use my hook. So now I will use this thread to sew and to join, I will fold it to close the sleeve. Well, I went to an appointment and I couldn't record the part of the neck, but it's basically the same. We start casting on all the stitches from here to here, all around, I continue making the elastic stitch. I made four, sorry, five rows, and I finish facing to the right side. Okay, I made the same. And once I finish to make the neck, I close the second shoulder, and then also I have already made the elastic for the a sleep remember that we were here so now we are ready to close and to join remember that first we made one row with single crochet then we cast on and we finish making five rows with elastic well now that we finished we are ready to sew here in the sides remember that here we leave this thread to close and we are going to join well, and we are going to make the same in the other side too, okay? We will leave it uh, open and then we will close. In the neck, remember that it's where we only cross one shoulder and then we leave one shoulder open so we can cast on the stitches for the neck, right? So now what we are going to make is to finish to sew this side, then we are going to hide all the threads that we may have and we are going to iron both sides, but we won't touch the elastics okay only uh, the rest of the body using a humid fabric under and then very soft and gently we are going to iron and with that we will finish well i hope that you all enjoy making this tank top with me remember that this is the end of the second part if you missed the first part here in the description box below i will share the link well, if you like this video, please don't forget to share it, don't forget to leave me a comment and to give me a like too. Remember that I'm also in all my social media and that I'm new in TikTok, so see you there too. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video and remember that you can make this idea for a unisex size too. Thank you so much and stay tuned in the coming videos. Bye!